Let's talk Tennessee recruiting as Tennessee has not hosted a home football game or recruits since September 14th when Kent State was in town. But this weekend, Neyland Stadium will be buzzing as the rival Florida Gators come to town. And it's going to be a great weekend to have recruits in Knoxville. I got Tennessee recruiting insider Matt Ray of VolQuest. He's going to be on the show. We're going to go behind the scenes of this big visit weekend. But first, Tennessee fans, do me a favor. Hit subscribe. Recruiting's heating up. You want to be on board. Hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. All right, let's bring in Matt Ray from VolQuest. Matt. Last weekend did not go the way Tennessee fans or really the rest of the country thought it would. They lose to Arkansas. So how important is it? I'm looking at the visitor list. How important is it to get these guys back on campus after that disappointing loss? Yeah, I mean, I think you said it best in the intro there. Tennessee hasn't been at home since September 14th against Kent State. So, one, just to be able to get back home, host some recruits, and, and kind of go through, you know, reestablishing some momentum with top 2026 targets that you had, you know, on campus over the spring and the summer, I think is big. And then I think to get your commitments back to campus and have them around and have them back around your program is also very big. Uh, you know, if you look at this list for Tennessee, they're going to have the bulk of their, you know, top 10 recruiting class for 2025 on campus headlined by David Sanders, George McIntyre, Travis Smith will be back in town. So it's a really big weekend just in terms of getting back, getting resettled because you've got a month here now with a bye week kind of jam there in between, but a month of being able to host guys for some big atmosphere starting this weekend with Florida, follow that up with Alabama, then the bye week, and then you have Kentucky come into town to kick off November. So it's three really important home games for Tennessee on the recruiting calendar as well. Hey, Inside Scoop fans, whether you're cheering for the Titans or the Colts on October 13th, plan for a pit stop at the Whataburger food truck during your tailgate. That's right. We're going to be in Nashville getting ready to watch the Titans and the Colts. So Get your team ready by securing an easy W first with a hot, fresh Whataburger. So no matter who comes out on top, when you take your team to Whataburger, you're going to feel like a winner by getting your food made your way, fresh and hot every time, 24-7. So see you at the game and see you at Whataburger. So remember, if you're tailgating Titans Colts, October 13, we're going to be there. We're taping the inside scoop live from the tailgate. It's going to be really cool. So remember to come out, Whataburger. That's the easiest win you'll get all season. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a really big month of October for, for Tennessee. Um, one of the things I want to talk to you about, it's great to see these guys on campus, but there's also been Tennessee commits taking visits elsewhere. I want to talk to you about two of them right now. Linebacker Jaden Harmon going to Alabama for some visits and also Laganza Shady Hayward at Georgia. Let's start with Harmon. What are you hearing between Harmon, Alabama, and Tennessee? Yeah, you know, I think Alabama may be a little bit surprised by the Jaden Harmon flip back there in August. He played that pretty close to the vest. Um, but they gave the dust a chance to settle, and they started reaching right back out and you know continuing to recruit him the same way that they had before and were able to get him over to campus for the Georgia game. And obviously that was an incredible atmosphere for him. Um, but as that visits got further and further away, continue to lock the things that we hear about Tennessee. I think he's had really fantastic dialogue with William Inge, who's been really good in this recruitment for the Vols. Uh, you know, Jaden Harmon expected back on campus, you know, this month, you know, most likely these next two weekends with the Alabama weekend potentially being an official visit weekend for him as he has not yet taken an official visit to Tennessee because he committed so early in the process. So that's something that the Vols have in their back pocket. But these next two weekends, I think, for Jaden Harmon are important just in terms of he's past the stage of needing to see the bright lights and, right. you know, the, the the shiny things that go into this recruiting process. He's in that football focus, football fit kind of mode. And these next two weeks, if you're Tennessee, you have a chance to showcase, you know, kind of what you can do and how you see him fitting into your defense. Florida, they're going to do a lot of things that stress Tennessee's linebackers. It was why they were able to have success last year 
in Gainesville. So Tennessee looking to clean those things up. And then obviously in two weeks when Alabama comes to town, you know, I think Arion Carter's role for Tennessee that week in, in terms of what Tennessee will try to do to spy Jalen Milrow and combat some of the things that Alabama does there is one of those ways that Tennessee sees Jaden Harmon being able to fit into the defense. So a couple of really important weekends if you're able to get him to campus for both. Um, but yeah, I continue to like right now where Tennessee sits for Jaden Harmon here as October's rolling on. Hmm. Yeah. There should be some level of concern there with Jaden Harmon, but back on, you know, as long as Tennessee keeps winning and he keeps showing back up on campus, I think Tennessee will be good there. Now let's talk about Luganza Shady Hayward. Did you catch the quote that he had to Georgia reporters coming out of that game about the atmosphere at Georgia and he left it as, yeah, it was great. But it wasn't like Neilan. I mean, did you catch that? I did. I did catch that. And you know, I think for for Shady Hayward, I think that's something for him. The first time that he was in Neilan was back last November. Uh, Tennessee offered him in person. Uh, Tim Banks was the one that extended that offer, and that's something that's meant something to him throughout this process. But just kind of getting that offer that day, going out, seeing that environment was such a big deal to him. And you know, he called me back in the spring, um, late February, early March there, and, and kind of told me at the time, like, you know, how important that was to him. And it was pretty adamant that he felt like Tennessee would be home for him throughout this recruiting process. He would keep his mind open, and he, was, he did that. We saw that during official visits. You know, Georgia made a swing. Um, you know, we saw some other schools try to make a push and, and get in there and shake things up for him. But ultimately, every time Tennessee has been able to get him back to campus, they've been able to offset some of that momentum. They were his last official visit. They offset any momentum that Georgia, South Carolina, and some others had picked up during that month of June and got his commitment there in the summer. And then now, obviously, he goes over to Georgia, but I think he still continued to have really good conversation with Tennessee with the entire our staff kind of from top to bottom and you know he'll be back on campus this weekend and that visit again gets further away you know I like where Tennessee sits um you know obviously I think you said it earlier Josh there's a little bit of a level of concern anytime any of your commits guys that you've been in on for such an extended period of time show up on another campus mm -hmm. but maybe even more so from the outside looking in when it's you know, Alabama and Georgia. So I think right now, obviously, those two schools are going to recruit Jaden Harmon and Shady Hayward to the finish line. Tennessee's been well aware of that. And, you know, they just have to continue to to win, to get them to campus and, you know, have that conversation, that really good positive dialogue that they've been able to have yeah. here for some time. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, you know, Hayward, he's from the state of Georgia. It came down to two teams. Of course, you're going to be concerned if he goes to a Georgia-Auburn matchup. But coming out of there, I mean, I don't think Tennessee fans could want him to say anything less than that. That atmosphere did not clearly stack up to what he experienced in Neyland. Um, more vis big visit weekends to come, though. We, we teased it. We said October's going to be loaded. Uh, but generally speaking, who do you think Tennessee really needs to get on campus this month? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. I mean, I think it starts with Isaiah Campbell over in North Carolina, right? The the recent Clemson decommitment. Um, you know, he's scheduled to be in town October 19th. Uh, mm -hmm. Like any of those North Carolina kids right now, um, getting to and from different campuses is going to be a little bit more challenging because of the impact of the weather in the area and, you know, the driving and, and yeah. the inability to drive through certain parts of – of Northeast Tennessee and, and, you know, parts of Western North Carolina. But, um, you know, I, I expect him in town next week. And I think that's a really important visit for Tennessee. He's a guy that Rodney Garner and, and staff have coveted for some time. Tennessee was able to get him to campus around this time last year and determine then that they wanted to swing big for him. Um, you know, but he turned around and committed to Clemson just a couple of months later. And, you know, he, he, didn't take any visits as per the Dabo policy. Um, but now with things open, you've got a really good chance if you're a Tennessee to kind of put your best foot forward, North Carolina and some other schools involved. But it feels like ahead of that official visit, Tennessee's primed, you know, in this recruitment to make a really strong run 
toward the finish. And then I think you just want to keep getting your 2026s back to campus. These guys that you've already established really good relationships with and, you know, put that time in with, um, you know, Kendra Harrison set to be in town for the Alabama game. Leo Delaney set to come back to town for the Alabama game. I mean, I could, the list just kind mm-hmm. of goes on and on here over the month of, of four and five star guys, top 100 guys that will be to campus. I think if you're Tennessee, you just want to get them there. You, yeah. you just continue to build that momentum, right? Because we talk about it frequently, but Florida and Alabama in 2022, those wins for the Vols were huge. Those atmospheres, it was a checker kneeling against Florida, and it was, you know, a, a field storming win against Alabama. And, you know, that paid dividends down the stretch. That got you in the door with a guy like Mike Matthews and, yeah. you know, really, you know, push things open there and with several other guys. So I think, you know, just getting those guys here, being able to put that product on the field and continue to build is, is the main thing for Tennessee. Yeah, keep put that winning product on the field. Keep getting these guys coming back to campus and everything's going to fall into place. So Tennessee fans, talk to us. Let us know. Comment section below. Who do you think is going to win on Saturday night in Neyland? Let us know. Give us your score prediction. Comment section below.